Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, DC The Truth. On the go today, it's one of those weeks for me. So, my plan was to, get, to push out three videos a day, but that wasn't the case. Got, you know, a little slowed up, things going on. But, I'm here to talk about, y'all see the title, Corey Holcomb. And, and, and his D riders to be exact. A lot of them think we just riding on the, the platform. I, I'm getting so sick and tired of explaining myself. You know, this is commentary. What we're doing is no different from Darlene's loose talk about bullshit, but we got some productivity to add to it. Now, before the D riders get over here, Half of y'all niggas in wheelchairs and y'all gonna come over here. DC, you keep making content about the man, so you hating on him. Shut your bitch ass up, man. The root issue to this problem is most of us know what the 5150 show was. The balance it brought, the intelligence it brought. Okay, let's just tip it out. We'll use Bobby, for example. Bobby is a real intelligent, deep brother. These motherfuckers in my video. Sorry, I, I had to go ahead and pull off. I know it ain't the safest, but fuck, you know. My damn neighbors, they, I, I, I think they know I film or whatever. So a lot of them be trying to get airtime. Maintenance, nigga, all of them. But anyway... I'm gonna forgot what I was talking about, but back to Bobby. Even him, Bobby was a real intelligent brother. He brought a lot of wisdom. In my in my factual opinion, that was Bobby. You know, Bobby had a lot of experience. You know, being older, he could touch on a whole lot of things. And then you had a you know the guy. You got my guy Zoe Williams, which was a lot deeper. You, I mean, it, it, it's amazing. This, this this man had like an encyclopedia brain. So any topic these guys talk about, whether it's religion, uh, whatever, Zoe can break that down and it brings balance to it. So now what you have now is, okay, you got a bunch of people joking. The joke. Like I say, ain't nothing wrong with a good laugh on uh, on there. But see, this is, this is the problem with it's almost like me on here. Uh, uh, well, this is a problem if you you build your brand a certain type of way, and then it's pretty much a lot of people are not gonna like those type of changes or whatever. Sorry, I ain't gonna be able to edit this video. But Corey, for example, he did start his brand off with the with the jokes because that's how he was on the Fox. So that's the type of show it was. But it just evolved into something else, and we just got accustomed to that. I mean, cause even back then, when it was just 80% jokes most of the time, I know we'll take it back to the Fox so they joke, but they had structure to it. Now it's just all over the place. Niggas barking at smaller YouTubers, all kind of shit. Just if it ain't every other day, motherfucker, Rad and Jeff. That nah, that type of shit's gonna get old, even on a comedy level. People want to hear fresh shit. It's whatever. Only people that don't see anything wrong with them. It's people just basically, I know it, it, it's an audience for bullshit. We realize that. And half of these niggas that come on a lot of our videos or whatever. I hate to insult, insult them, but you, you, you got to. I can't help it. I was part of the goon, chat room goon squad for years. But these niggas ain't got no goddamn, they got an empty ass head. They ain't got nothing in there. These niggas like dumb shit. Let's just keep it real. We're going to keep it 100. 
everybody, every critique y'all see of all of us get it all around. Anybody that make content by a uh, 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 Cora Holcomb is mindless, brainless bots that don't freaking understand YouTube at all. I like y'all, these niggas don't think. So if y'all have a problem with any content creator got to say, check the pedigree. Nigga, open your mind just a little bit. Little bit. See what your favorite news outlet's doing. What are they doing? Reporting on shit. What is Royal Star Hip Hop doing, nigga? Reporting on shit. I, you know, and that's all I'm going to say. Fuck wrong with my horn. That's all I'm going to say when it comes to the goofy motherfuckers on here. And then, you know, back on the 5150, it's like real fans know, real fans that, that can see potential and, and what the show would take to grow. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about what this would, would need. You need somebody in there, like, for for example, comedian-wise, Ryan Davis was a, was a good fit. Now, by having Ryan Davis on there, I don't know what happened with Craig. I don't know. I, <laughs> Craig might have felt the way somebody was making a joke. Craig probably felt the way about Ryan Davis being in the seat. But anyway, whatever the case, like the 5150 you need a okay you would need another comedian i i would like to see like okay even with just niche that's pretty good but i don't know sometimes just a pen but you know to me i think a ryan davis and a just niche would be good enough to get the show on because i mean you know even when they're there craig is disinterested disinterested in the show for the most part. He be in his, his phone. So I don't know what's going on right there. But if you got okay, you 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 build that base and then I guess you can keep Darlene. She gonna be down for whatever. And um you just you need another brother like when y'all talk about this is what kept fifty one fifty kinda you know in intact. That's why Zo you know Zo was the balance towards it all the time because we'd we be like man this nigga Corey it, you know as I start evolving I'm like man this nigga Corey ignorant man so please correct this motherfucker um you don't have that anymore so what you're gonna have to have is somebody that has a little intelligence or whatever that depending on the topics they're talking about to kind of hey wait all right yeah this, this cool this funny or whatever Corey but hey hold on let me add this to it this is what's missing. You get that a little bit with Ryan Davis. You know, Ryan Davis, like I say, he's a very intelligent comedian. Very intelligent brother. Like I say, you know, me and him around the same age, so you might need some of that. So, man, this this gonna be it for this video, man. It's your boy DC the truth. I'm out of this thing. I had to give y'all something while I'm on the go, man. For real. <laughs>